Hello and welcome to another video where today I'll be discussing the return on capital employed ratio, sometimes shortened to ROCE. And this is a very useful tool to measure how efficiently a business is using its capital to generate profit. Let's get into it. So return on capital employed is a financial ratio that shows you how well a company is generating profits from the money it has invested into its business. It's commonly used by investors and analysts to evaluate the performance of a company over time or to compare it with others in the same industry. Think of ROCE as the return you're getting for every pound that is tied up within the business. The formula for return on capital employed is pretty straightforward. Operating profit divided by capital employed multiplied by 100. Let's now break that down and take a look at each component. So operating profit is the profit a company makes before paying interest and taxes. Or another way of looking at it is the profit the business has made after deducting its cost of sales and expenses from its revenue. Capital employed can be calculated in two ways, either total assets minus current liabilities or equity plus non-current liabilities. Either calculation will work perfectly. Let's now have a look at a quick example. Company A has the following finances. Operating profit of 300,000, equity of 1 million, non-current liabilities of 200,000. So capital employed equals 1 million plus 200,000 and therefore 1.2 million. Now enter the figures into the formula. Operating profit of 300,000 divided by capital employed of 1.2 million times 100 gives you 25%. That means for every one pound invested, the company is generating 25 pence in operating profit, which as a general rule is pretty good. The return on capital employed ratio can be useful for a number of different reasons. Firstly, it helps compare companies' performance, regardless of size, and it measures the long-term profitability by comparing the ratio over a number of years. It also shows us how efficiently a business uses its capital. A higher return on capital employed generally means a more efficient business, but as I've said before, don't forget to compare this to others within the same industry. Of course, as is the case with all ratios, it does have some limitations. ROCE can be affected by high asset valuations, certain accounting methods such as depreciation, which will affect both assets and operating profit. You've also got non-operating income or one-time gains. So always look at ROCE alongside other ratios to get the best picture. To sum up then, the return on capital employed shows us how effectively a company turns capital into profits. It is a key measure of financial efficiency and a must know for investors and management. And that wraps up this video on return on capital employed. I hope you found it useful. Remember if you have to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more accounting videos. Thanks again for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.